Hello and welcome to the Album Man. And today we are doing CDs and vinyl, except no vinyl, that I bought recently for uh, November 2013. Yes, so no vinyl this month, I'm afraid. Just didn't find any, really. But quite a few, well not that many, but you know, there's some CDs. Not the biggest one ever, but I'm sure December's will be good. Okay, so firstly we have, let's get in the festive spirit of the Christmas tree. And we have some Dylan, Christmas in the Heart. Scale is Sam's only from 2009, so he only did this four years ago. And, well, if you've ever wanted to hear Bob Dylan sing, Here Comes Santa Claus, Winter Wonderland, Hark the Hell Angels Sing, Little Drama Boy, Come All You Faithful, and a Little Town of Bethlehem with his really gruff voice, like, Here Comes Santa Claus, Here Comes Santa Claus. That is what it's like. Let me tell you. The, his version of Here Comes Santa Claus would literally traumatise any child that had it. Um, it's quite traumatised. It is one of the most surreal albums you'll ever hear in your life. It's one of those you listen to and it's like, is this actually real? Is this like, is this a serious album? And the sad thing is, I think it might be. It, was, it sounds like it's almost done ironically, but I have a feeling it's not. It's odd. If you're a Dylan fan, maybe check it out, but... It's, it's an experience, let's put it that way. Ah, so you're going to leave this video now because... Do I show it again? Okay, keep it still. Megadeth's Super Collider. Well, I'm sure all of you are gone by now, so I'm just talking to myself. But, uh, yes, I bought Megadeth's Super Collider. It was only three quid. I mean, look, you can see the price tag here. Three quid. Now that does not seem bad for a new Megadeth album to me, considering I paid, you know, like a fiver for 30 in Endgame. That was like a year after they came out. So to get this for three quid, I like it. I say, I think it's a bloody, I think it's a good album. I'm not saying it's the greatest album ever. I'm not saying it's the most original hard rock album ever, but uh, it's pretty good. I mean, Kingmaker's a good song. I, I like Super Collider. Okay, Ben, yeah. I think Dance in the Rain, as much as I hate bloody David Gerdan or Draymon, I think that's a good song. Uh, Black as Crow's good, don't, um, Cold Sweat, you know, don't turn your back on a friend, as much as the lyrics are awful. I mean, the lyrics on this album are pretty treasured. Burn, baby, burn, don't turn your back on a friend. Yes, but, um, I like this album, it's good. Give it a chance, you Megadeth fans, give it a chance. Another CEX album that I thought was a good bargain. Conan Cambria's Second Stage Turbine. I didn't have this one. I think I'm now only missing A Year of the Black Rainbow and After My Ascension. And then I have the complete Conan Cambria discography. Went to see them live, and this was actually just after I went to see them. Um, literally the day after, which was pretty awesome. And this has three bonus tracks as well. The thing about this album, this is what, probably the most expensive album. I mean, they've just re-released it and remastered it, but it's usually kind of hard to get hold of. But for three quid, yeah, I definitely couldn't resist it. Very good. No, it's not. I, I prefer Conan Cambria, sort of, I just have to go, you know, good Apollo and onwards, really. But, uh, yeah, I definitely like Second Stage. I thought this was buying for two quid, and I know it says four pounds, but I actually got it for two pounds. And this was Deep and Purple's Made in Japan, the remastered edition, two disc. What could be better? I mean, this has versions of Highway Star, Child in Time, Smoke on the Water, Space Truck, and Lazy Speed King. It's it's a pretty awesome. I mean, it's such a classic bloody live album. I like it a lot. I like the extended versions of Space Trucking and stuff. It's, I think, it's one of the classic live albums. I, I, yeah, really good. For two quid, bargain, especially remastered. Bloody hell. So, I'm going to see Black Sabbath this month, which I'm extremely pumped for. So, thought one of the albums that, weirdly, I've never had and don't know as well. thought, you know, I, I should probably, probably, you know, get to grips with a bit more Master of Reality. Yes, I've never had this album. This is the 2010 remaster. And it's awesome, this album. I mean, God, Sweet Leaf, Children of the Grave, Into the Void, and then, like, the Instrumentals, Orchid and Embryo. The weirdest song... The weirdest song has to be After Forever. Um... It's like... You have, like, something like Lords of This World, which is Giza Butler says is the only satanic, truly satanic song you ever wrote. And you have After Forever, which is a Tony Iommi lyric-wrote song, 
basically about, well, it's like a, this evangelical song, which is a little out of place on an early Sabbath album, but there you go. Awesome album. Absolute classic. No doubt about that. But I'm sure you know. And speaking of classics, so let's go Nats Entertainment, get a nice two for five. Slayers, Rain and Blood. Now, you might find this weird that I never had this album. Really, I like this album, but now I, I at last have what I consider the four biggest albums of Thrash, you know, of course, Master of Puppets, Rest in Peace, Among the Living, and Rain in Blood. I, I consider them the big four Thrash albums. I'm not saying they're the big four best Thrash albums, I'm just saying I think they're the four Thrash albums any Thrash fan, where if they're, you know, should have. And this album is always kind of expensive. I mean, I love Rain and Blood. I've heard it before, of course. But uh, it's always kind of expensive, you know, on Amazon. So for £2.50, yeah. But now... <sighs> I made a bit of a mistake, I have to say. There was there was some really good stuff on the 2 for 5. Like, there was remastered Bowie's Hunky Dory. <sighs> you know, I've been wanting that album a long time. <sighs> I got a bit confused. Yeah. I'll show you it. Arch Enemies, Doomsday Machine. Now, if you know this band, you'll know that they're a melodic death metal band. And if you know my channel, you know I don't like melodic death metal. So you might say, what the bloody hell did you buy? I can't, I had it this in my head that this was a thrash album. I swear to God, I thought this was a thrash album. And then I find this weird, female-fronted, melodic death metal band with a woman that I honestly thought was a man, and so I she was a woman. <laughs> um, yeah... I thought this was fresh. It disappointed me because it's not. I don't like it. I don't want it. I wish I got Hunky Tory. <laughs> I really do. A complete waste of £2.50. I'd probably put it in my box of rejected stuff. I don't even know what I'll do with it. Like try and sell it on Amazon. Who the hell knows? I certainly don't want it. But special edition as well. And then just a few CDs that, uh, well, you know, just um, got it was uh, my dad gave to me. Um, because, you know, he's just going through a CD collection of things that he's got new remasters of, so, you know. Um, The Alarm Change, good alarm album, not as good as Strength or Eye of the Hurricane. Roger Stewart, Every Picture Tells a Story, probably his best non-faces um, album. I mean, this has, you know, the title track Maggie May, of course, is the most famous version. Um, Tomorrow's a Long Time, um, what's it called, Mandolin Winds are good. There's, there's a lot of great songs on there. It's, uh, it's a pretty strong album. And then also non-remastered Queen Sheer Heart Attack. Not the best sounding, as in, you know, just sonically, because it's a... When was this released? Yeah, I think this is, you know, it's an 80s, 80s CD, so production-wise. A bit dodgy, like to get this on vinyl, but it's a really good album. I mean, yeah, Killer Queen, of course. You have um, Stone Cold Crazy in the Lap of the Gods, Brighton Rocks. It's, it's a pretty awesome album. But this version, yeah, you know, I, I'd like to get like a remaster, probably on LP, I'd like to get this. So yeah, not too long, but that was my CDs and vinyl, <laughs> basically none, that I bought recently for November, including this, which I really shouldn't have bought, because I don't like it, and I didn't know what that it was. So there you go. And this mini album, man, thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, and as usual, long live rock and roll.